16 personalities as apps, ESTPs, Snapchat, a place where sending or receiving naked pictures and totally forgetting about them won't come back to haunt you, as long as you have the right settings. ISTPs, YouTube, a place for the person who wants to teach themselves literally anything. No social interaction needed, just the acquisition of knowledge and the pursuit of skills. INFJs, Audible, delving deeply into a fantasy world or educating yourself on a topic. A one-on-one -on -one interaction with a human voice that, crucially, you can turn off at any time. ENFJs, Voxer, somewhere you can send real-time voice messages, so even when you are messaging each other, it still has some of the charm of regular human interactions. ENTPs, Discord, being thrown into text or voice channels like intellectual edgelord gladiators, ready to outwit, roast, or just troll all comers. I mean, the clue's in the name. They may as well have called the platform Debate. INTPs. Reddit. How to describe Reddit in one sentence. Reddit is the socially accepted 4chan. I mean, INTPs are on there as well, but Reddit works for when they are in a less edgy mood. ISFJ. The Notes app. Simple, straightforward, and gets the job done. Catalogue your daily experiences, capture moments, write to-do lists, or just jot down passing thoughts and ideas. No detail need be missed. ESFJs, Instagram. Somewhere you can keep up to date with everyone and keep everyone up to date, even down to the most minute and mundane aspects of your life. Also a way to look back nostalgically on fond memories. ENTJs, LinkedIn. Social media for the networking professional. Every contact is a potential business opportunity, just as ENTJs would prefer. INTJs, Telegram, a messaging app that is encrypted and away from prying eyes because you never know when the government is watching. Total privacy, because that's important in the modern age, especially when you're having conversations that will get you cancelled or arrested if anyone saw them. ISFPs, Pinterest, curate the art gallery of your own life or desired future life. Color coordinated boards of aesthetics, just pure aesthetics. ESFPs, TikTok, instant, fast-paced, trends that don't last very long, and non-stop bombardment of content tailored around things you like. Somewhere you can go viral for imparting useful and fascinating information, or just dancing, uh, badly. ENFPs, Twitter, somewhere you can speak truth to power, have your say, express your authentic views, and also get into heated political debates with strangers on the internet, and blurt out things you will inevitably regret. INFPs, Spotify, your sad playlist, your breakup playlist, the daydreaming playlist, the emotions you can't quite put your finger on playlist. This is the only app that makes organizing actually feel good. ISTJs, Facebook, still skeptical of social media, so you're lingering in the most boomer infested area of the internet. Eventually you will move on to other platforms once they've shown enough staying power for you to trust them. ESTJs, Google Maps, an astonishing amount of data analyzed with the aim of getting you to where you want to go in the most efficient way. But you will feel like you're being bossed around the entire way. If you've ever used an app before in your life, then subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to join us all on another app on the Love Who Discord server. The link is down below in the description.